Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another HMARS 4 replay. So on the top right side is the blue English, we have a foreign name. So on the bottom left side is the yellow Japanese, we have 101. If you take a look here, the English player does have a deer deposit and a boar right next to each other. That's quite a bit of food. Decent amount of berries there, but it's English. There's a good chance he won't even touch the deer let alone the berries, because their farms are dirt cheap. Additional deer deposit over here, but I still think maybe actually is a good idea for the English player to expand right there. That's just a lot of food there. House into mining camp. Forge and house there. For the Japanese player, his deer is a little bit farther away. I've got a deer deposit over here between two berry deposits. Once he gets some of the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Tawara. This will improve the berry collection rate to so the berries collect up faster than or about on par to deer. And when he gets the next upgrade, it does also make his his berries collect much faster than deer. So maybe a good idea to actually expand expand out to the deer and then go ahead and spread out, sprawl out the nearby berries. We now got the Abbey of Kings being plotted in the field versus the Kira Storehouse. Here, Storehouse, of course, give him some decent amount of farms. He doesn't have to travel. Yeah, a bit of a good baseline economy going. And the English player is eyeing for a stone. So, the English player is eyeing for an expansion. We got a decent amount of villagers here on the stone as well. So, both players are eyeing for an expansion. Though the English Abbey Kings will provide him a king from the Abbey. Also, I'm going to open up a drink. You may hear it. If you see the length of the replay, I have a feeling you know why I have a energy drink in my hand. Scout moving around. We do have this scout also moving around. Tends to be in most games, scouts tend to move around. The only game where a scout doesn't really move around is probably Age of Mythology and the Atlantean Oracles. Does have enough stone for his... No, it's actually stupid of me to assume that the Japanese player was going for the stone to get out of expansion, but now we've seen the wood, that's definitely the case because... The Daimyo Manor also exists. Maybe it's going to try to go for an early heavy uh, banner man. Heavy calf banner man. Mounted banner. But that is not the case. It is expansion. Looks like this scout may be the king's future queen. And now, together, they shall torch down that farm. In which it will also free up a space there for the farm to grow. Now think about it. The farms are growing around the storehouse without human intervention. Does that make these stuff closer to weeds? <laughs> Unkept, uh, unregulated farming. Just let it blossom. Do rice for plants blossom? You know? I was sort of trying to make it like, oh, it's growing weeds. It's, you should really cut down the garden and make a joke like that. But now I'm just wondering. I don't think I ever have really know what a rice plant even looks like. Because I have grown corn in the past, potatoes and other things that are in the ground, but never rice. And the arrow hits there onto the king. The king, of course, can heal himself up no problem. The guy actually quite a bit stone me collect as well. He may be eyeing for a daimyo manor or two. And this may be Ultra Turtle Japanese. Is that may a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No, that's definitely Western, not Eastern. Uh, he just has a bit of stone or something, right? Don't see anything. Unless there's another town center queued up somewhere I don't see. I just one he had more than two, 180 stone, but maybe I'm mistaken. Either way, the king does take a pretty good volley there from the town centers. I go for another charge there. Nice thing about Japanese, they get 20% drop off in the form of coin with the 
stone collection. Does get an outpost over here, not being upgraded at the moment. The English player is going to deer with a tertiary expansion point. And the stone collection, I still don't know if it's going to be for Daniel Manors or for another expansion. He does get, can always come for Aero Slot here, which may not be bad against the King. The King only has two range of armor, plus one uh, powerful arrow, and damage never hurts. Not damage, but range. He is actually even going for berries. What sort of heresy is this? English players collecting of berries? It does also, as much as I joke around the fact that English just rely on their dirt cheap farms, they can still always collect the berries just so they can prolong not collecting like any other civilization, so they can prolong not getting out farms with a wood collection rate. Right? So they can more focus on a food and coin based economy. Which he may be eyeing for an age up. Probably for the White Tower, because I don't think the King's Palace at the fourth town center is really in order. And of course, the White Tower would be very flexible as a production queue. Because right now, the only production queue for military units is the Abbey Kings for a single king. The king and the scout are engaged in each other. We've got a single spearman here. And we also got a uh, banner man here, Uma Banner Man. We do have a Daimyo Manor here. With two town centers, you can get a good number of banners out in the field as well. But for now, this will improve, also improve the nearby farm collection rate. I wonder if he, uh, the Japanese players can go for the Buddhist monks or the uh, what's the other monk called again? Shinto. King is charging his way forward. We do, of course, got the outpost here as well as network castles. Scout stays alive. It would have stood in there for staying in there for a little bit longer. Maybe an extra arrow volley could have got the kill, but with all the arrow slips, the range is not good. Loading gate, not being researched, that will give him the free your shiros. Get extra gold and or food and or wood income. Or maybe just other production in general. The deer's almost completely cleaned on up. I think the boar that made the boar right there, because I don't see the boar alive here. So I'm feeling boars right there. I'm having trouble clicking on it. Deer carcass, boar carcass. And there's a white tower. And a good defensive location. Whoops. There's a white tower in a reasonable defensive location in the middle between all those town centers. And that's one reason why I always say it may be a good idea to keep a sheep following the, your scout at all times because that sheep is blocking the movement of that banner man. Now I've got the floating gate spawn field going for a stable. Oh, and those like. I just want the Shiro. No, not mine. He does take the Yoshiro, does throw inside this stable here and going for mounted uh, samurai. Transition to some heavy cav. <clears throat> <coughs> the English player, of course, can defend himself with his town centers, the White Tower, which can be proved by the arrow upgrades. Scout will likely go down, make some good hits there. We we'll have to go by this manor, which means two arrows here. Like the English town center. And the manor claims the kill. <clears throat> Last of these food has been cleaned up up, can always go to berries afterwards. If, at least for the interim until he gets enough wood for farms. He's starting to go for some farms now. Got some more berries back here. And actually there's a massive berry deposit here. Oh wait, that's not a for some reason I got that mixed up with the berries as well. There's a large berry deposit. We got a good number of samurai, mounted samurai, the banner man and a scout here. 
Going for the network of citadels. You will see all the heavies. The white tower can start producing out some spearmen. Does not have the veteran spearman research, which is very important. In fact, he doesn't have a blacksmith or even a barracks. We've got now crossbows being killed by the white tower. That's probably a better idea for defensive reasons. <clears throat> Another Shinto priest actually being queued on up. Oh, I'm going to try to claim the relics. The king does take some hits there. But does stay alive. He can fall back to the abbey. Remember, the abbey also provides health regen. Six health regen out of combat, which actually is very significant. <clears throat> oh, basic palisade walls everywhere. Getting charged for once again. Good chance the king may go down. The monk, of course, can kill him up as well. We got the final wheelbarrow research for the Japanese player. So, most actually, there's still plenty of berries to clean up. King goes down a little bit foolishly. Maybe just trying to stall out for the crossbows to rotate around. Mounted samurai sent go down. Does sort to of fall back. Does need perhaps get some spear mixed in. More and far mills and farms being pulled on out of the field. Even plus on Vanguard Man at Arms. Hmm. Bar I don't think it's even barracks out in the field, so. Yeah, he's gonna get black. <laughs> Vanguard Man at Arms. I'm never going to I'm never going to see Vanguard Man at Arms with this much armor before, because most of the time you get the early Man at Arms upgrade before you get the fitted leatherworks research. We're going to see the incredibly rare three armored Vanguard Man at Arms. We got the plus one melee damage, so the Japanese player is trying to get his own blacksmith research. Got some of the uh, Enera Ono Bashigas. The English Man at Arms should be relatively effective for them once they get the armor clad research. We got now the early Man at Arms research on the way. Fine pull out some basic walls here to keep this gold and a little bit of stone secure. Long bows will be effective in this situation as well. <laughs> and the rest of these bears being cleaned on up. We do have them queued up to go for a mill for the deer. And over here we do have Mountain Samurai trying to break through there. Some of the English uh, villagers may go down. They do have textiles for research, being four some back. The early man almost only have four melee armor, which is actually not too significant against the Onobashiga's high attack speed. They'll do five damage per strike at least. King gets sliced apart. We got the regular man arms research on the way. We do have the walls going on up. Definitely needs Dare's armor clad. More Palisade Wolves under fire. And now I've got the Shogunate Castle being pulled out by at his capital town center. Villager's charged by four. There's a good amount of storage in the region, but a little bit of late response there. <laughs> Couple of Onobashigos do go down. The English, English player says plenty of villagers. Got the villager there going down as well. And now we've got the Odachi upgrade on the way, as well as some uh, another round of melee upgrade. Odachi will give the samurai plus four damage against infantry, so English men arms will have a bit of trouble. Hey, <laughs> 
Shoulder at crossbows. Ferret. But the Englishman arms are still very tanky. Should be able to send a bit of more abuse. At this point in time, the samurai will basically have plus two damage advantage against the English man at arms with the armored clad research. Assuming, yep, looks like the melee upgrade there. And I've got the Berkshire Castle being blown a few. I was half hoping to see the Weingard Palace. I like seeing the uh, Weingard Rangers. Long bows with extra range, extra damage, and extra health. As well as dirt cheap uh, trebuchets. Overchar Castle be deployed out in the middle of the farming field, a very defensive position there, able to help protect the farms. Let's make sure there's plenty of villager storage nearby. And there is actually a decent amount of villager storage. With the three town centers, which one's capital, the White Tower, and the Berkshire Castle. That can probably store up, let's see, 15, 20, 20, White Tower storage 20, right? Yep. 40, 55, plus 14, 60, 60, oh, it can store up to a nice 69 villagers. I suppose if you add this one here, it'd be up to 76 villager storage, which is still very significant. And we're probably not going to see 76 villagers and farms around here. Just probably around 60. Ten Gashima gunsmith having fun a few, get you access to free gunpowder units, as well as the unique gunpowder Otatsu, or however you pronounce that. The gate does get set ablaze. The gate will be saved by that villager. Now we've got some more banner men over here, some samurai as well. The samurai right now has 155, same health as men at arms. They do have the same base damage as well as armor as well. And of course, the one free deflection hit. And we're of course a little bit more expensive at 130 as well as 120. And the English economy with enclosure research is more geared for men at arms production. Not to mention, their men at arms do produce faster. Berkshire Castle gains some damage over here. Gain some good damage here. These guys are slowly being whittled down. He does get the plus one, plus two damage, which will help him punch through the armor better because it does affect keep and other arrow damage. There's the enclosures. Let's take out some of the villagers, but they will go down. Right now, the Japanese player has hardly any blacksmith research, which may be a bit of a problem. But then again, he does have the blacksmith melee member that Spug doesn't show up there. If they could fix it by having the one the things have that little marker like the Mongols have indicate when that gets researched, they need to do a little bit of cleaning up with the UI and the after the expansion. They have not done that. Because the IU bits doesn't even show the age up in the uh, progress bar. Man arms engage the owner of Shigas. Their high armors can be very useful. Got no elite man arms research. The English players doesn't have enough gold for that. And we do also got a diamond manor here. So his banner man number is quite high. The king is dead. Long live the king. But it looks like the king's not going to be far on the field. So no long live the king. Crossbows are a little bit more expendable. Probably best idea not to really go for the elite research unless he's really trying to build some more of them. Maybe we've got an idea to just go for hand cannoneers as a higher punching unit against the samurai. Elite mana arm research on the way for the English player. Also, elite armor tactics and elite man at arms. I don't haven't seen the Odo tactics researched. Doesn't appear to be researched. Does have the elite samurai going for the Bernuri, giving plus two your shiros and melee grants them. You want to make sure they would be a good idea to get all their shiros inside of the farmhouses to get a mass amount of gold income. Not to mention, he has four relics there, so their shiros he can get what, what six of the Urshiros. 
which are what 75 gold rather than 80 gold so basically a full relic he could basically get 10 relics worth of gold income I mean, if you take 10 times 75, it's approximately 750, it'd actually be greater than that, but still. 750 free gold income is very useful, and plus you can get a little bit of gold from stone, and there's still plenty of gold on the map itself. So I don't need to get a whole supplementary other gold force uh, income. The English player does have enclosures, which is also very nice for gold income, but it is supplementary, not a full replacement. I got another samurai here. The man at arms are holding the line. Crossbow's trying to micro around. Single man at arms does hold him back for a moment. More man at arms here. Does not have the elite. Not going for the elite crossbow. Comes the elite spearman research. Her shark castle flying away. So is the white tower. Gets the handful of nearby villages inside the various town centers. And he is fighting a bit more of an organized environment, so it allows the White Tower and the Berkshire Castle to get a lot of extra shots off. More man arms on the production queue. The English player has 43 man arms on the field. 10 more on the way. We've got 43 samurai and 22 more on the way. There's a handful of all the units, so it's just these uh, Ono Bashigas. Or elites right now. I'm a bit curious how many bannermans the uh, Japanese player can fly on the field, so let's take a quick look. Get out seven at the moment. Some of these man arms taking some hits. Oh, no, but she does do go down. Got now these man arms push me forward. Those men arms do all go down. <laughs> do now have uh, various research for the English player, including chemistry, siege engineers, and arrow volley. So maybe I'm gonna get some. He's starting to get his longbow research on the way as well. Which will be useful as, uh, against Onobashigas if Spawn starts to transition to mass Onobashigas. He has still a decent number of crossbows in the field. Not going for Elite, which may be best since he's going for Chemistry. Not so surprised he's gone for Arrow Volley. So he may still eye for Incendiary Arrows. Or may get that research when his opponent starts to transition to Onobashigas. At least progressively longbow and research makes it a bit more of a fast response time transitioning to other units. After all, long bowmen should be very effective versus own Bashigas. And looks like the English villagers are torching down some stuff. Going to take time to destroy one of the walls. Gets one of the walls down. And we'll go and cross the T as well. I always wonder if people understand what I mean by crossing T. Because it's like. Crossing T. It's actually a navy term as well. Ships tend to travel in single file. And if you in order to, if you gauge, if you were to cross T of a single fire line, it means you have a broadside on them and they only have the single frontal batteries the front ship. Of course, in that situation, they can also spread out and maybe get a whole bunch of broadsides on you. Uh, that's just naval stuff. Men arms engaging the various samurai and other shikas. They will get full. We got the king being redeployed on the field because might as well. I still believe the king should be like a free respawning unit like the pawn. Or at least maybe get a research available to make it to have that happen. There's also, for a time frame, there was two English kings, so maybe a research to how I would pass a king like that. The King and the High King, or the Rule of Two, I think it's called. By the way, the men arms are torched down the outpost and the forge. This gold only has been slightly touched inappropriately. 
That is a good number of outposts. He has 33 villagers here, so this is with 15. That's 35 villagers worth of storage here. Try and go for a bombard here. Can't deploy one out. May not switch it forward. May go for a big round of research on these outposts, but maybe not. They're just meant for villager storage. And I'm sort of surprised that the keep is firing against that uh, stone gate. I thought you could fire against stone gates. English man almost gonna get overwhelmed pretty easily. English player has not fought out a whole large number of hand cannoneers. Samurai do build a rate of 15 per uh, 7 seconds. I'm pretty sure English man arms have 15. But English man arms do build fast and samurai, but only by a small margin. I like the stone as well as the gold. Man arms trying to hit the Japanese villagers. The English player does also have a staggering 153 villagers. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe once that uh, stone gold gets claimed up by those villagers, he may just want to delete those villagers. The king is pushing forward, but taking massive damage. The Shogun Castle will kill the king. We got a bombard here. It immediately gets ripped apart. Villagers may want to get inside the various structures. Onobashigas will probably get ripped apart. They have they're lightly armored. They'll try and torch down the banner ramps now, and some of the mana ones engage the villagers. Got now Daimyo Palace here, going to progress to another Jonah Castle, needs a lot more stone. The English player does have 1500 stone, sort of. Uh, villagers migrating around, trying to steal this gold deposit, but there's a sh uh, castle here. Got now the Otsu, pushing way forward, getting some damage onto these mana arms. Trebuchet now deployed on out. Villager is now trying to repair up the keep, taking some damage here. So, a decent amount of villagers in this region. The Otsu do have 7 range armor, does get inside the keep. The keep's arrows are 15 damage, so they may, they will do decent damage to the Otsu, may want to focus those down. Okay, gotta check the samurai. Okay, I got some various forces, including some batting rams. And that is a good number of Otsu, they're gonna report that in no time. And the keep does go down. All the stones been claimed. Bit of a gold, decent amount of gold still remains. English players trying to push back four. Man arms slow. Hank can use yeah, this blue force king and overwhelm. Right now, blue's army is half the size of yellow's because it's all the villagers. And also the less than 100 villagers, the Japanese. So right now, the English player is in a good economic situation. You can see by the 17,000 food and 3,000 gold sort of. But he's in a problem where he just simply has too many villagers. The Japanese player is in a position where he needs a little bit more villagers, but not too many. Could maybe try to replace those villagers with uh, traders. And here's microing around. Final law, final line, uh, level four melee damage being researched by the Japanese player now. Keep here, more Englishman arms and hand cannoneers getting intercepted and sliced apart. All right, English keep here, trying to clip up some wood. English player is actually a little bit low on wood. The king is a, has been redeployed in the field. Long live the king. He doesn't have enough for citadels to help him out with defense, but he's simply just well outnumbered. Inspire, of course, does have plenty of uh, gold from the enclosures. 
Each composer provides 12 photos per minute. Let's just round up to 70. Roughly providing 750 gold per minute. Which is pretty good from those bars. This will match these bonus here, Shiro bonuses. And all the relic advantage. But there are additional gold incomes. Actually, very evened out. Or even. Those two have taken some damage there. Getting hit by the hand cannoneers. Got these men arms engaging. Maganov trying to find some shots. Not able to get in range of the hand cannoneers. They have more of oh, citadels. These hand cannoneers basically fire the same rate as uh, archers. And Japanese players are still, still eyeing for uh, samurai production. His gold food right now is pretty good for supporting samurai production. Another battle room there. And the Englishman is going for gold next to this uh, trading post. You could try, uh, he doesn't have any stone in store, and there's basically no stone left on the map, so you can't buy for a keep there in order to help secure a future trade. A small number of traders will be adequate with the enclosures, but we do now have a massive number of proxy barracks, which could cause some huge issues. Remember, the English player does have siege engineers, so if he gets mounted, if he starts losing a bit of army, not only can he build out some mini arms, he can also quickly deploy out some battering rams and try to slice through his opponent's base from the inside. Oh, we've got two stone deposits next to each other in a position where the forge can help collect both as the same drop-off point. No incineros, no siege works, and no biology. I wonder, where are the Yoshiros? That's just the Shinto Shrine. He does delete the one that had the... There's the Yoshiros, at least some of them. So he just has either your shiros inside of forges. These units can can yourself do offer a little bit higher DPS than the Otsu, but they do Otsu do have a little bit of AOE effect. Additionally, if they get on top of the wall, they get plus two range, giving them 8.5 range. Additionally, the English player could actually get on top of the wall as well, getting plus two range. And the hand cannons have six range. He does get on top of the wall. Also gives him some range and siege armor. He does give him range, 25 range armor, 50% siege armor, and the also do range damage. But right now, he just simply had nothing to hold back with samurai. And now, think about it. He, if he needs to quickly get up there, he can always go for a siege tower. Otsu receiving some damage there from the keep. Oh, here got the man arms pushing forward, engaging some samurai. His proxy force now being pulled in out. And now some of these forces are rotating around. We do have now another Shogunate Castle, which can give him quite a bit of defense. Each one does provide 192 damage per shot against infantry. Well, one shot lead man arms. And now. The Japanese players on defense. He has some units on offense. We got the very rare Revolquin. Only has 10 range armor and no zero inherent armor. Has 10 melee armor. So these uh, Otsu are just gonna rip it apart. Great try. It's such a rare unit. It's such a niche unit because honestly, Magnus does this job better and safer. As 3.575 range is not enough. If this thing. I would say it does need a buff, maybe a slight rework, because as of right now, Magnos are just simply just better. This thing can't be dodged like Magnos, but the problem is its range is so short, it just it does get like one volley off and then it dies. And they're not cheap either, they are, yeah, 850 resources. They could get reworked, where, let's see, their model has... Five barrels, so maybe they can rework to have five shots and have actual range. But that's 
basic idea of how to balance them. And I'm trying to hit these villagers. They will be inside by this castle. have the battery round deployed on out. What if it's lightweight? That seemed pretty quick. He may have uh, construction beams. Either way, we do now this wall being battered down. And for English villagers there, all this infrastructure does get cleaned up, but the villagers do it just exist. An outpost there will help with spotting and maybe able to do another proxy effort. It may be a better idea, rather than trying to go for barracks, maybe try to go for some siege workshops. And go on. What's up all the hell? Maybe the- oh, when the Shinto uh, shrine upgrades, I think. The floating gate upgrades. I got a little bit close, uh, confused about that. Again, the English players having trouble fielding army has 39 versus 92. <laughs> Quality is nearly doubled. Numbers well over doubled. We got a uh, Revolka and Maganel here. And losing some villages is perfectly fine. He does have the towns. There's capitals right there. White Tower does not have garrison, but Berkshire Castle is being garrisoned up. Its arrows are reasonable. 15 damage. Town set of arrows are, of course, not as reasonable. Doing 9. And these men arms or samurai have eight armor, so the town set, primary town center and capitals at garrison arrows will only do one damage each. Which is enough for getting rid of deflection, that's for sure. I was supposed to get cleaned on up. Oh here. Villagers going down, except the losses the English player has lost peace on the villagers. Which means he can now field a larger army, so I'll go for the elite the long bowmen. I wonder, does he have incendiary arrows? I don't remember seeing incendiary arrows in the build queue. Let's try to find the university. Monastery. Oh, that's a good number of stables. He is going to lead horseman research now. There is the university. He has gotten all the university tech. He's also going for elite knight research. He has resources. He did lose a couple farms, but he has plenty of villagers. He has four villagers on food. He has a good amount of wood as well. I don't know if you can see five or eight range armor. How much damage are the longbowmen doing? He is going for some. Let's find one. I guess there's four right there. And they're doing 14 damage, so they'll do about six damage per shot. They do have... We saw the arrow volley research, which means... Okay, that may be bugged out. Unless they change it so it's a passive effect now? I'm pretty sure that's an active effect. I'm gonna switch between players. Maybe it's just a player issue. Yep, there is ability. It's just a cast uh, replay bug. Which, of course, will give him extra attack speed. Reduces the long bonus time to attack by one, so it reduces it from 1.29 down to one. So that some of the reduction is there from Necro Citadels. Samurai they gave some damage there from the various sources, the Berkshire Castle, town centers. They're rapidly being whittled down by the, all the defensive uh, garrisons. Now let's torch down some of these farms. Well, those farms, of course, English farms, that dirt cheap. These man arms do find some of the random spring golds. Very nice. 
revolving against grid damage. The English man arms make it so it has a good front line. Griffin brought the samurai one at a time, which honestly his his DPS may seem pretty good, but yeah, I don't know. Either way, these samurai being forced on back, banner ramps engaging these various structures. The king is alive. The king is dead. We've gotten out of the castle here. He's collecting the wood in this region. He can. He's actually running low on wood. There's plenty of wood in various parts of the map, but if he wants wood, he needs to make sure these villagers find another location, such as right there. Some men at arms are here. Banner ramps before. Got some men at arms here as well. Got more walls going on up. These villagers migrating around. He has actually 8,000 wood in store. Not a whole lot of coin. Not putting any more longbone, but he is going for a massive number of knights. We're going to try to counter this one samurai with knights. They won't receive the bonus damage from the samurai. Additionally, they will have good charge attack and have higher health and mana arms. They'll be a resilient fighting force, effective against samurai, and very population efficient threat to samurai. I think the knight transition is a good idea. More knights being brought on in. He has some one over here. Could use a arrow fire, volley fire, or ball pin, push away forward as well. The boats too are here. Those on the high ground does go down. Now it's going to push his way forward. The English player has 97 military units field. His opponent's at 62. He has a good amount of gold, food, and small reserve of wood. He's not really active with his wood, so that's fine. The English player is going for a round of traders. Got a round of stone walls being put up by the Japanese player now. We're trying to find some of those villagers there. The English player is going to push his way forward. Got some Magnals mixed on in as well. They should do some great uh, AoE damage. You can see there, splashing all the samurai quite nicely. So spring balls are pretty forward, having trouble. Long one getting caught up on that lumber camp. There goes over, over ball pin. There's the arrow volley there. Increase the rate of fire to hit, really hit the not very good targets. Let's go down there. A handful of hand cannons also firing away. He has increased range armor, but that only increases about half a uh, well, decent amount of damage from the hand cannons, but not entirely. Now get the English player pushed away forward. He has crossed the D. There is a path to this trade post. Banner rounds pushed forward to hit the castle. The English player can trade. He is very low in gold. He does may want he does have elite horseman research to do it on up. And could go for some long bowmen as well. Start getting some trash units to maintain the pressure. Horsemen not like a super great this moment, but they simply are usable. Couple Maganels there. Samurai now charging way forward. Nice charging way forward. Battery rams do manage to come over here. Bill just trying to force them down now. Um, some men arms falling back as well. The English player starting to need to regroup his forces, starting to get whittled down by all the samurai. Japanese player has a good amount of resources for continuous samurai production, but he's very, very low in wood. So you may want to eye some other wood sources. Good Maganel hit there. He does have a decent amount of siege weapons down on the field. There are spring bolts as those well Maganels. English player can throw some units on top of the walls there. It's a defensive position. He has some elite knights pushed way forward as well. There. 
down south we do have the east samurai push way forward horsemen as well trying to clean up some of the various other infrastructure got some more forces charging way forward we've also got a lot of english villagers here james players down to 65 villagers he's lost a significant number of villagers but it does allow him to field a massive army and he has a good resource reserve he may does still need to start getting more replacement villagers Push down down wood for traders. Horseman charging the way forward. Does use the volley fire there. He's trying to get long bow now, so he's lacking gold. We got a round of traders here. This will give him valuable wave of gold to work with. This golden comes around 800 when the traders hit. Could spike him up quite a bit. Up to 12, 1300 gold per minute now. He does get the long bow on top of the high ground. Very nice. We have a range, uh, two additional range. It will hit the Maganel a little bit better. But they are getting annihilated by the Maganels. Maganels are still pretty effective for the rest of them, even though they get 50% siege resist up there. Want more horsemen? Want more trash? He's gonna out gold now. Stock up. Queued up a whole bunch of men at arms. Maybe get a round of knights for Kurt as well. Going for a big round of horsemen. Get those production queues up and going. Oh, he actually has a decent amount of forces here. Traders in a relatively safe path. Has been walked by the White Tower and the Berkshire Castle. They're safe enough for now. Got some sand right here. Killing off some of the English villagers. Japanese player has a good resource reserve. He needs to put up pressure, but he's at the point where if he loses a battle, he'll probably lose a game. But he does have a good resource reserve. Right now, gets some good hits there on those horsemen. Horsemen is trying to charge him in. We've got this big wave horseman able to close in on all those siege weapons. Big hits there. Those siege weapons are critical. And able to pass even just the Otsu. Man arms charging with Ford as well. Samurai are starting to fall. He's trying to retreat with the old suit. They're expensive and very useful to keep alive. And he's still falling back. More reinforced samurai. He may want to get some reinforcements all here. They're starting to re-engage now. He's really now trying to soothe them with the horsemen. Got the English man arms as well. We've got looks like three rounds of uh, waves of traders in the field for the English player. Very nice. That should help out. That should solve this gold issue, I'd say. He does need more colors on wood. I think he has only a pitiful amount on wood. Ten, which is decent. Battle ram down right there, not super important. No markets here. There's players now with 73 villagers, which is good. He still has a good resource reserve, so maybe at least don't go past 100 villagers. I think lower is better at this point in time for Japanese player with his big resource reserve. But he still is lacking quite a bit of wood. Doesn't have forestry researched. Good volley there. Got some English spring bolts firing away as well. He is finding next to the network of citadels. So the spring bolts attack speed is actually pretty high. Faster than crossbow attack speed. And hand can nears. Right now they're basically uh, a three population hand cannon here. That's good range. So they're actually, those the Springles are actually just like, doing some decent work. More reinforcements being pulled up by the English player. The Japanese player has a massive arm in the field. Those two annihilates that archer range. Springle does go down. The White Tower is just out of range. Does not have a bombard, but isn't just a Springle in placement. Got these other forces there, including a knight. The Shogun castles can do some great uh, defensive work. We're trying to cast a fine way. Got another Maganel here.
Some villagers are trying to repair up the White Tower. Those two are trying to focus on the White Tower. Waiting for more mana arms. Works our castle finding some good fire support. And the White Tower will go down. Got a big wave of knights here. Easton's just lacking all the resources. Not even a whole lot of wood at the moment either. Another round of horsemen probably wouldn't be half bad. Just get something. Maybe long bowmen. But the long bowmen men arms are right now just lacking resources. There's all goes as gold. Which plays the back foot. And this place has a massive resource reserve. May have lost some forges ahead of your shields on the inside. White tower is still getting repaired on the out. Shark Castle still fighting some good fire support. Looks like some of these forces starting to hit the Utsu. Samurai push right forward, push down this additional town center. This one's not important anymore. And listen, English Pirate will hold. Wood is still perilously low. Got some Samurai here. Perch Shark Castle will protect, as well as the Mana Arms. Have more and more wood there. Got some forces here getting caught on the urbanized environment. He can patch that breach. He may want time to take time to regroup. Japanese player is trying to go for more samurai. He doesn't have production queues up and going, which actually has been oversight. Japanese player is at pop camp. The Japanese player is not. Maybe he's trying to get out more civilians. That's why he's not going to pop camp. Maybe. Samurai now pushing their way forward. He does good fight next to the White Tower, has been repaired. Does have access to boiling oil. And of course, Court Architects gets much help. He's trying to torch down the White Tower with the Samurai, which will take him, give him, receive a lot of free damage there. They'll just not repair up the White Tower either. The White Tower does get destroyed. He's sending out a massive wave of filters to try to get it repaired. He has been out wood for repairs as well. More Samurai here. Warren Knights, I would say, is overall a good idea against Spawn's current composition. But they are expensive. He doesn't really have the gold income to support it. He does have enough gold to get a big round of men arms. He's having trouble remaxing. Nothing on this build queue. The round men arms, of course, which push away forward. Maybe try to hit some production structures. Nice charge the way forward. Deflection is very useful to defend Protect against the charge attack. White Tower under siege by the old Sue. Nice, so just fancy way forward, but they're simply just not here in large enough numbers. He's going for more revolt wins. I think Maganello's so far will be bet better. The extra range makes him a little bit more reliable and keeping him alive. And I feel like the AOB damage probably will do a little bit more. Some of these traders are getting hit. They do have some health regen from some from the Abbey Kings, actually. That's what's actually healing them up. A ball Quinn here. Needs to be just a move forward. He's got a couple of samurai without volley. Some of the horsemen charging me forward. The White Tower being receiving some repairs. The last of the English uh, reserves of resources being cleaned on up. Japanese reserves are down a sniff in it, but still has a decent number. Now I've got two of all prints here, being repaired up by some uh, villagers. The Abbey Kings may be repaired up once they get out of combat as well. So next our archer range is going down as well. Ooh, we've got some battery rams here, which needs to be cleaned on up. The Vulcans do range damage, not siege damage. Hanging out there. Force will make short work of it. Japanese players having trouble reinforcing. He has to run all the way across the map. Oh, and he also had a sizable army there. This player just might want to be defensive. His resource reserve is not good. The Abbey Keen's getting some good healing, so may want to fall back to the Abbey. The King himself charges his way forward. He has a good number of Volquins. Fighting behind the White Tower is probably better. He needs to fight more in the urbanized environment with those. 
More knights being pulled on the field. Very nice. He just needs to get out anything at this moment. We got a massive wave of samurai now here. He does use the spread formation. Some samurai here taking out some villagers. I wonder how many traders he has live. He has 18. Ball fans firing away. He is finding a nice choke point there. Agonel having trouble. Ball fans getting some great damage there. It's actually they're doing really well. Let's do trying to focus them down. Maganels are hitting those Otsu. Round of the Knights charging way forward. And he's actually held. Those Revolt Quints did excellent. That's probably the best I've ever seen him do. We're done. Yeah, AOE effect is very small, but he had a large enough choke point for they actually got good surface area damage. Eagles player will hold and does counterattack a little bit. His resource float is not good. Japanese player's resource float is also not good. The king's providing some good health benefits. One of our Vulcans do go down to the Spring Golds. He has three Spring Golds over here. Does quickly rebuild some Palisade Balls. Knights. Uh, bans the men arms with this knight. He's trying to kick out some battery rams there. He could have. He's needs to play around the defensive location where Balkans provide some great fire support here. Yellow has two secret sites captured while blue has one. See, the Japanese player has a good amount of gold income, but I'm not sure from what source. He has 10 villagers on gold somewhere, so there's some sort of gold mine still existing, I guess, for the Japanese player. And I'm not sure where. It may be expired. And click on that, like you can do with Asian Empires 3. Nice taking out some of the Japanese villagers while the Japanese player played a larger army, but he will have enough for one assault. And the English traders will go down. They do get one last drop off there. And oh, he will lose these guys here as well. Yellow does have some villagers collecting up some wood here. Oh, there's a gold mine right here. So a thousand more gold remains. He has about another two minutes worth of gold income from that mine, which is a decent number. He's actually lacking food. He has a large number of not active farms because the English player were very good at killing them off. Place a bit of walls there. These forces, four or ball quins there. That is massive. He has three sprinkles there as well. The English player has a play around the siege. The knights are going to be very useful, but they're not here in large enough numbers to make an absolute win. Okay, I'll start to play around the siege weapons. The walls do quote crumbling, crumbling down. Spring balls push away forward. The ball points a little bit behind. We do have 10 and melee armor. Does take a fall eat there. A little bit overkill, I believe. Does he get one of the spring goals? Both one of the revolvers to go down, but the both of the Japanese spring goals do go down. And there's a bit of a cliff face here from restricting movement. So three revolvers still remains. He's trying to shoot for this force. Samurai engaging there. And got various forces here. English reinforcement can take those out. Trying to hit some more of these forces. The English player has some villagers to work with. The English player does have actually a decent amount of wood now. Maybe go for around a horseman to get something queued on up, because right now his queues are low. And sometimes you have to get something on the field. Something's better than nothing. 
those manos will take out those units. These main arms taking out these batting rams. Using some infrastructure, not a whole lot though. I got this force defense way forward. If he actually finds the Oh no, he cancelled those. Nice. He lost some of those mines or forges that had the Roshiros in them. I think they're all maybe removed some. I'm not sure what went on there. He may have deployed some in lumber camps, get some wood income potentially. That could be the case. Oh, he says these number of villages in wood. I don't know. The sex side being decaptured. He actually has a 6% victory counting his favor, which is actually more useful for the gold income this moment in time. Japanese player is out of food. Going for some of the hand cannoneers now. Hand cannoneer, Ashigaru. I don't think there are anything special about them versus regular hand cannoneers. Sick side there not being decaptured. That is a bit of oversight. Englishman arms are also going to be just picked off here. Oh, I suppose the hand cannon Ashigaru can be affected, uh, affected by the the uh, Yumi Bannerman. Wait, Yumi Bannerman are light range infantry units, even though they have so much armor. I thought they were heavy range infantry unit. Huh. Got a very large number of knights here. Should be able to take out all those units, no problem. Structures are going down. Keep here, taking firing some shots. Take out the villagers there. It's actually very important right now. It's a good volley there. I just realized, I just now actually took a look at the villager kill counters. Both sides have killed over 200 villagers. Take like side starting to be decaptured, decaptured now. Japanese players are going to get ripped back from multiple sides. We've got these samurai hitting some of these villagers. These players are trying to collect some more wood. Those are trying to back on off. These player has plenty of food. He may want to go to the market and sell off 5,000 food for coin. Capture those sacred sites with uh, monks is also pretty good as well. Down here, we've got the nice charging way forward. Find some more of the villagers. There's a gunsmith. Oh, there's. You really want to make sure that those forges provide gold. Now let's take out all those horsemen. Good amount of healing there. We've got the king providing some healing benefits. as five for both wins. Japanese player has 122 military units the field. The English player is at 48. He is fit another 15 more, which will be horsemen. Has soon to be eight spring golds. That's too many. Going for a ball pin. I think he needs more mana arms. Because he only has 28. He needs more front line. Some of the English villagers are getting hit as well. Try and click this on that wood. Okay, <laughs> look at the spring gold firing away. Oh! Okay, that did pretty good there. Still not a big fan of them, but I can't deny they've been quite effective this game. Got a very good volley there. Horsemen taking out some more of the Japanese villagers, which along the field won't. Final army.
He can break down the walls. Doesn't have a whole lot of units to break down the wall. It'd be a good idea for the Springles to actually snipe those guys, and the walls are safe. They're in small enough numbers where they can be sniped. Makes way down south. Does find an opening here, but there's a nice choke point there. In which... Neither side will utilize. Snipes a banner man. Sniping banner man are very important right now. Siege weapons going along the flanks. Knights engaging. Finds a good follow there. Man on charge with four. Does take some fire there with the old Sue. Now here comes the rest of our ball pins. They just not in conflict. King is down. Good micro there on the ball pins. Actually seeing micro on them is unusual, but useful. Gets more and more volleys there. The Vulcans, I guess, are very good against this infantry composition. Mana arms and other heavy melee infantry units, such as samurai. Did some great work there. Starting to recoup some things. Starting to recoup some forces. The Japanese player has 80 military units field. 66 villagers versus 108. Point more and more samurai. Going for more hand cannoneers. Not a pop cap. Why don't you go for more Ashigaru musketeers? Or hand cannoneers? The king is dead. Long live the king. English player is trying to push his way forward. Is that pop cap? The value is heavily in favor towards yellow due to this mass infantry. Though, and the English player doesn't have a whole large number of force, just have a very good siege army. Those lose from the units. Has five spring goals and five revolvers. Revolvers going to be firing. Couple of them does go down. Forward, trying to flank her around as well. We're both getting some good damage here. Both sides have a decent number of spring balls. Five and five, so go out of the way. So the Revolvers are going to go down. Samurai goes on in. He gets players trying to lose. His army has a massive amount of food. He has some horsemen. We may well sell off some food. Spring balls going on down. These players trying to pull out some batting rams. A massive number of batting rams. And also trying to. Build of batting rams there. I don't know if there's any units can get over there and build them. Yeah, I'm not sure what's... Eh, there's openings there, so I'm not sure... That's these guys. He's trying to try to infest his opponent's base with batting rams. Those villagers may go down. He needs to sell off 5,000 food to get some coal. Get out some more... Knights overall would be better, but mana arms would be quicker and cheaper. You can play around with defense there. Got the mana arms move out here. He doesn't take much to build with battering rams. I know the Mongol improved construction beams is very useful in testing your base. You can make do with like a couple mana arms. So I'm assuming seven or eight mana arms would be plenty. Knights coming in for a flank, trying to hit the various hand cannoneers. There's a massive number of them. Point in time. He is going for Maganel's help hit those old soon. They're pretty easy to keep alive with the extra range. Horseman getting hit stuck on the samurai. He does have the white tower and the Berkshire Castle for defense. And he has lost a good number of samurai, which do offer good torch damage at 24. That's the same as some other units. I am thinking different ones. I'm Maganel there trying to get the Otsu. White tower is taking some severe damage. Here comes a horseman trying to flank around. Other units trying to move forward. White Tower is almost down. Those go on Spring Gulls. Hitting the Hand Candy is not bad either. It's another Spring Gull there. Man of Arms Force pushing over here. Engaged by the Samurai. White Tower can be easily repaired. And now with the Banner Rams push back forward. You take out some of this various infrastructure. There. And he's trying to group his forces. 
Who will hold here? Yell's holding back, trying to keep this range force alive. This expensive range force, but the horsemen are connecting. This horse is quite wounded. Let's take much for the horsemen to get off some kills. Some of those units. I think this pattern is trying to hunt down this forge. Insufficient wood, so he's completely out of wood at the moment. Those are horsemen, not villagers. There's a villager. He does have villagers on wood, so the white tower will take time to repair on up. I still say he needs to sell off some food. There's a good number of horsemen, more man arms than build queue, going to queue on some knights as well. Japanese players almost have pop cap again. English players are having trouble getting regrouping, but the English players are able to go on the attack. To keep yellow from attacking him. Horsemen trying to go on through. The Japanese player is out of hole, has some wood, and I don't think he has any, even some spearman research. Arch range, or no, that's the uh, barracks. Yep, he has hardened spearmen, not veteran spearmen. Anti cav damage. Eh, that's not really necessary, but samurai just pretty good. You can try going for Yumi archers, but it's probably even just your age as well. Though the horseman will go down. So let's go down there. The English players have 50 military units versus 137. The English player needs to just build anything he can, sell off food. More horsemen there. Horsemen could be aggressive. He's trying to go for another battery ram there. Looks like Yellow may have spotted this. And these main arms back on off on the battery ram, push way forward. Maybe hit the forge with the Oshiro. This player has a bit of wood, so maybe going for some longbow, just something. And I suppose horsemen wouldn't be half bad either. Oh, you could take that wood and start to try to repair up the white tower again. Yep, the straggler trees got a pair of samurai there. White tower getting repaired on up, but I don't think it's enough wood for it. Nagano fires a volley. Finds a small hit down the Ashigaru Musketeers. Another Maganel here. Yes, multiple Maganels in the field. White tower does go down. Samurai getting splashed a little bit. Samurai taking mass damage from the Maganels. Piercers have two on the field left. Yep, make that one now. Samurai being annihilated. He still has a single Mechanel here in a great position, so the Samurai will go down. Knights and Man Arms trying to hit the Musketeers, probably won't get too far. White Tower being turned up. He has plenty of wood right now. Like I said, he needs to sell off some food. He has uh, skip some villagers there. Uh, trees? He. Yeah, this tree is uh, this map is devoid of trees. There's some trees there, but some more of yellow side of the map. These spots are probably the best for trees for blue. It's still not great. These players having trouble remaxing. Has a bit of gold to work with. Japanese players also having trouble with his income. Black and gold. No real expenditure for wood, so whatever trickle he has is probably going to be uh, adequate. <laughs> he is going for a round of crossbows, a bit of a cheaper counter. 27 damage. Not bad, but not too particularly great at this moment. 
Going for lead crossbows. They are a cheaper counter unit, which may be good, especially the, when you're lacking gold. Still needs to sell off a bunch of uh, food, I'd say. Knights engaged in there. Samurai 24. Sitting down the White Tower. The White Tower quickly goes down there. And looks like the English players are getting pushed back. He's now going to be fighting at the Berkshire Castle. Town said he was providing some fire support as well, but its arrows are weak, and the English player does back of the game now. This angry saying, take watching, and on to the next replay.